Hi everyone, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps. For today's card, I did some stenciling with some texture paste on a slimline card and then used the beautiful Lovely Layers Sunflowers. Now I'm starting with my eight and a half by three and a half piece of white cardstock. I am using the scattered leaves stencil and this is, I think this is the detailed one. You get two stencils in this and I think this is the detailed one, but this is the open leaves, if that makes sense. And I'm using wilted violet and I'm just coming in and doing some stenciling. I do not wanna cover this whole background. I just am kind of not super worried how I'm putting it on because I want this to have a distressed feel. I am keeping my colors light for this design, but I do want this to feel very fall. So that's why I'm using some purples. I'm using some antique linen, which kind of resembles a yellowy kind of color to me. So that is my plan for this card. Now here is the second layer to the stencil. I'm going to line it up, and this is where I'm coming in with the Distressed Texture Paste. This is the Crackle which I really love. Now, I will say don't put this on too thin because you really won't get a good crackle effect. So you wanna put a decent amount. You don't have to go crazy and make it super thick unless you wanted to. But make sure you're getting a really decent coverage because that's how you're going to see the crackle. I've done it before, I just put it on way too thin and it didn't have enough crackle, which is the whole point. Now, as you can see, I did not cover all of the leaves that I inked. That is what I'm going for. I just really want this to feel distressed. I don't want everything neat and perfect. So I'm going to line this up again at the bottom of my cardstock. And I'm sorry that my stuff is kind of down to the bottom of the camera, but you still can see everything. So I'm just going to uh, use the texture paste on that and make sure you go rinse that off immediately because that stuff will stay. Now I've got the leaves. I already die cut all of my images from the Lovely Layer Sunflowers and so from white cardstock. So here are the leaves and I am using uh, peeled paint and then rustic wilderness. So the first color is the peeled paint. Then I'm coming in with the rustic wilderness and just adding some darker areas really it's gonna be more of the rustic wilderness than the peeled paint, but I really wanted kind of a two-toned leaf, so that is why I'm using those two colors. Now, here is the die cut parts to the actual sunflower. There's two center pieces. I am going to come in with brushed corduroy for the very center piece. This was really easy to put together because I'm just doing some ink blending and again, keeping it fairly light. The center is a little bit darker, but even that is lighter than the really dark centers of sunflowers. This is the gathered twigs that I am doing for the second layer of the inside piece of your center part of your flower. Here are the three pieces for the sunflower itself. And these, if you know honeybee stamps and you look at their lovely layers of flowers, there's layers of these, which makes them so realistic and so beautiful. So I'm using some antique linen and I'm just kind of doing the center of the flower and the bottom part of the petals that hooks into the center. I'm leaving the outside edges of the petals white. I want, again, wanting to keep this really light uh, color scheme for this design. So I've got two flowers that I die cut and I colored both of those. Now I'm just using some liquid glue to adhere these together and you can really, they're really easy to line up, but there is a way to line them up. You don't just put them together haphazardly if that, if that makes any sense. So I'm just kind of lining up all of the petals, then I'm lining up the two center pieces and I'm gonna do this for both of these flowers and just adhere that with some liquid glue and adhere that down. You could also add some foam tape in between each of these layers to really give it dimension, but I'm just going to lift up the two top layers of petals, just gently giving them a nice bend upwards, and that's gonna give me plenty of dimension for this card. But like I said, you could add foam tape between all of the layers, and that would be very beautiful as well. So now I'm going to add some dimension to the leaves and I'm using the Honeybee Stamps Reverse Tweezers. I'm bending the outside edges of the leaves downward. Then I'm going to put my tweezers in the center of the flower and then kind of bend it in towards itself. And this is just going to make these leaves look a little bit more natural, that they have some movement 
because we did the same thing with the petals of lifting them up. So everything has some dimension. Now that my uh, background has dried from the texture paste, I'm coming in with the Distress Oxide Spray in Antique Linen, and I'm just going to give it a little bit of spray in some of the spots. I don't wanna cover up all of that really pretty purple, so I just did a little bit, and as you can see, it's kind of in the center, kind of on the top and bottom. I'm coming in with the Antique Linen Distress Oxide Ink pad and I'm just rubbing that along the edges you know kind of the old-fashioned way of aging something way back when I don't even know if people I'm sure people still do this but I'm just doing it lightly around the edges and a little bit on top of the texture paste but not on all of the leaves just on some of it again a really light distressing so now I have my two sunflowers laid out and I'm just going to use some liquid glue to adhere them into place. I would use liquid glue when you're trying to attach things to stuff like texture paste or glitter or anything like that because you need a really strong adhesion. A tape runner I feel like won't hold as well and your stuff could fall off eventually so I would use some liquid glue or even like score tape. So I've got all of those in place, and now I want to make a background for my sentiment. I actually have two sentiments. I'm using the inside thankful sentiments and the praying big time. So I'm just inking up a piece of white cardstock with my wilted violet, and I wanna make sure this is nice and dry because I'm going to be doing some gold heat embossing on this. So I have that in my Misty, and I am prepping it really well. After I let it dry, you can take your heat tool to it, however you wanna make that work. But I'm prepping it really well with my anti-static powder tool because I really don't want any stray pieces of embossing powder to stick to my background. I am using the word blessed, and that is from the Praying Big Time stamp set. I also am going to be using the coordinating die, but I'm inking that up with a Versamark ink coming in with my gold embossing powder. I'm going to just sprinkle that on and then heat that until it's melted and nice and shiny with my heat tool. Then I'm gonna use the coordinating die to cut this out, which is what I really love about Honeybee Stamps is just their coordinating dies to sentiments. I'm gonna tape that in place and run that through my die cut machine. And then you've got this beautiful gold sentiment on that really pretty purple background. I'm going to do the same thing for the second sentiment, and this is from the inside thankful sentiments. This says, when I count my blessings, you are always at the top of my uh, at the top of the list. I'm gonna do the same thing of prepping it with the powder tool, sprinkling on the gold embossing powder and heating that. And here I'm going to use the coordinating die for this as well. And I just happened to luck out and pick the right one that matched the first time. Sometimes I go through those sentiments and I feel like I'm never gonna find it, but this time I was lucky. So now I'm gonna add some foam tape behind these sentiments. One side of the foam tape that's attached to the background, I have to double up the foam tape because it's going across the flowers and that gives that some dimension. So it's the same thing with the blessed. Under the B, I'm gonna have to do two layers of foam tape. The other side will only be one layer of foam tape. I'm going to adhere this right above that first sentiment that I adhered, right in the center of centering it from side to side on the card panel. And isn't that pretty? I love that pop of purple on there. And purple is not my color. I, I usually tend to stay away from purple, but I think it's really pretty in this design. Now I'm going to add some detail. I usually use a white gel pen, but today I'm not doing that. I'm using some Copic markers and I'm using those in some brown colors. Um, and I want to add some dots to the centers of this flower. So I'm using E00, 35 and 37. And that's just gonna be kind of my details. The E00 is gonna be at the bottom of these petals, just really light dots. And I'm not even sure if you're gonna be able to see it on camera, but in person, you can see it just a little bit. Then I'm coming in with my favorite Tree Hugger Wooden Hearts from Honeybee Stamps and just adhering those down with some liquid glue onto the centers of the flowers, which I think is really super cute. And then I'm going to adhere this to a slimline white card panel, which measures eight and a half by three and a half. And isn't that just a beautiful background? It's just lightly distressed and these beautiful flowers are so, so pretty. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching and I hope that you enjoyed this project and I will see you soon. Bye.